Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to do a video showcasing the uh, new devices that I bought for uh, to make uh, the inductance heating for the heater block. Uh, so I did a, a, a previous video with the uh, smaller devices, uh, which uh, from preliminary test uh, didn't um, heat enough this uh, big uh, extruder. Too. and I was using a much smaller um, coil. I tried this one, it does heat but not enough to heat the, the, the tube, the uh, stainless steel tube. Uh, so I bought a new equipment. So I have here a variable um, power supply. So this power supply is almost a thousand watts and you can um, regulate the um, if you see here, you can regulate the voltage ampere you need to figure out which one is which I think it's volt and ampere but I'm not sure has three uh, different uh, uh, continuous DC output and up here are the AC um, there are some indicator here for voltage and ampere and this power supply is uh, uh, up to 24 volts, uh, 40 amps. So it should be enough to do the heating for both uh, extruder. I have a dual pallet extruder. And then I put, uh, so this power will supply power to the heating, induction heating device through a MOSFET. So I bought a bigger MOSFET and this MOSFET uh, is capable of uh, uh, 30 amp at 24 volts so I will attach the 24 volts here and I will attach here the, the induction uh, element device this induction element is capable of uh, um, 20 amps at up to 30 uh, volts so it should be enough to do the heating uh, of the, the coil, the coil here. Let me put it here so you can see. So power supply, MOSFET, the, from the MOSFET to the induction heating, and from the induction device actually to the induction coil. Um, the only thing that I'm concerned are the, the uh, this connection here. Uh, because I'm not sure they can sustain 20 amps these guys maybe this guy is big enough but these small ones I'm not sure so I have to check that um, and also these guys uh, this and this guys uh, I'm not sure if these guys are enough to sustain 20 amps or maybe 10 or 15 amps let me see oh okay so the on the bottom you have a nice uh, nice line so I can actually attach here let me see okay they are attached here on this side and on this side here and here so here and here and here, here. so I can actually uh, do the soldering on the bottom which it might be more safe to do so this is the device that I will use to do the testing probably do the, the stand testing the uh, coming weights or something um, so if anyone has any questions about these devices I will leave on a link to where I got them uh, uh, online and this is pretty expensive I think it was $120 but I can use it for other uh, things so a variable, a variable power supply is always useful and there are different uh, uh, current and voltages so um, it's always good to have a power supply and these two devices 
we'll see how the testing goes um, and um, that's it for this video uh, please leave a like uh, comment if you have uh, any questions uh, share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you very much and I'll see you on next video bye bye